How's it going guys? Today I have this Yard Force EX675. Um, it's 163cc push mower. It looks like with self propel. Uh, I'm supposed to diog this and send a quote. So that's what I'm going to try doing today. Unfortunately, I figured out we have no more starting fluid, so I am going to start off by blowing this thing off. So when I open it, I don't get dirt everywhere. So I'm going to blow this off real quick and probably wipe it down and see what we're working with. I have this ego blower here. Let's check the oil. Um, I did push it up here. We have good clean oil in it. Um, let's go ahead and look at the air filter. It's not too bad. It has been not too bad overall. Um, let's go ahead and give it a, a pull start and see if it starts or not. This model has a primer bulb or not. Doesn't look like it. It's a ready start. No choke, just power according to the sticker so let's see can we pull for power as I pull the cable and a was or a little uh, wasp nest falls off that's always a good sign right um, you know what since we're out here I'm gonna bring you guys out here if my pocket looks all weird it's because I'm using this mic um, I have no idea how long this has been sitting. No history on this motor whatsoever. So let's see, I guess what happened. Cable is very, very tight. I'm not sure. This seems like a step up from your normal like box model from Home Depot or Lowe's, but let's go ahead and see. I'm thinking just a uh, clean carburetor will do it. Okay, so I have a little bit of gas here in this water bottle. A little bit of it right in the carb here. And we're gonna try to pull start and see if it does anything. So the fact it does that means it needs a carb cleaning and or a new carb depending on model. Um, you can always clean every carb, but sometimes it's cheaper and easier to go with new, new carb. Yeah, I'm going to try to bottle feed it here for a minute. So I'm going to put a little bit more in. Pull start it and see if I can feed it a little bit. is the carb is gummed up that's why it's not starting so um, I'm gonna go ahead and text them and see what they want to do I'm gonna charge 30 on this and see if they want to do that or if they want to go a different route so put a comment down below what you guys would charge for a cleaning like overall cleaning the whole thing no dirt on it, nothing, and a carb cleaning. So I took this two screws out of here, and you're just gonna pop this end off if it'll come off fairly easy. I'm my pocket knife in my pocket here. We'll go ahead and pop this off. There's the bowl and the float. One thing you want to make sure is the float does not have liquid in it. Sometimes they'll get holes in it and uh, fill up with gasoline and they will not work properly. 
I got mosquitoes eating me alive. I'm gonna have brake cleaner right here. I'm just gonna blow this whole thing out. I'm gonna blow the the little clear ports out here. I'm gonna blow out the main jet. I'm gonna pull out all the little ports on this side. And that should be the, the main fix. You're filtering on everything if you want to. Um, since I just did the car, I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna try starting to make sure everything's good. No issues. Then I'll put this on. Put this clamp back on the fuel line and we are gonna start it and hope for the best. Theoretically, this thing should fire right up, no issues. Couple poles, get the fuel back in. Should be good to go. Okay, since it runs like it should, go ahead and put this air filter on. I'm just kind of moving around, make sure it all all works. I haven't tested self propel, so let me let me test that real quick. This thing came out pretty good, if you ask me. Sorry, my tripod's a little um, cockeyed here. But yeah, this thing, it turned out pretty good. It cleaned up extremely well. It wasn't too dirty. I'd say it's one season ran through. Um, the orange came out really good. If this is any other color, it wouldn't look the I'm going to go ahead, since I've had it on the side, everything else, go ahead and fire it up, make sure everything runs how it should. Um, I might go ahead and text him and see if I can drop it off tonight. Uh, it is getting late, a little after 8, so pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.